Welcome to Maker Monday and guess what? We promised it and we're finally bringing it to you. It's part three of the facial recognition episode and you, speaking of facial recognition, you might recognize this face. Recognize my face. It's Noor. So no, we are gonna carry on with the facial recognition project that we started in the last season of Maker Monday. And I will highly recommend that if you haven't watched those two episodes, go back and watch the facial recognitions part one and part two episodes that we did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because we're gonna build on that here. Yep. So what are we doing today? Oh, what, first of all, tell me, just give me a, a brief recap of what we did in those other okay, videos. Okay, so the first video was about a general idea of how, what, what, what you'll need and how to prepare your stuff for getting things started. The second one was about um, just a simple image recognition that if my hand is on my face or not, it's a true or false, okay. simple thing. And uh, we compared different kind of algorithms mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we saw how they're a little bit intuitive internal workings are, mm -hmm. and I told the viewers to build knowledge on top of that. Okay. So it was just an icebreaker, and this is also an icebreaker, but with a, with a little bit um, applied uh, okay. part to that. All right. So just a, a step further, exactly, just to give people yeah. ideas and inspiration. Yep. So I don't know if you remember, but <laughs> we gathered some. Remind of me, Noor. Yeah. So we we gathered some of your pictures, and uh, yes. as you can see it here. Um, I've created a folder for you, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird that you have pictures of me on your all your, all your Yeah, I love that. And uh, apart from that, we have some pictures of um, a guy named Oliver. He's Ooh. just a false case scenario. Oh. Yeah, and uh, the pictures of me, I took it yesterday. Okay, so you and don't, I, 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 I'm wearing the same shirt. Oh. Okay, what? so what we are building right now is uh, the base of, um, uh, of, of the facial recognition opening your door. You, you did the last episode with Greg, and it was about a, a door opening app kind of thing. Yeah. We can hook this uh, mechanism to open your doors as well. Okay, so recognize his face and then triggers that door buzzer that we created And of course, with Greg. now comes to the second answer. It's uh, why, are, why are we having so many faces? Mm -hmm. It depends if you're living alone or with family. <laughs> so, so, so basically what we're saying is Noor, Oliver and I live together. Right now, in this example, yeah. So okay. it will let us let only only three of us in okay. inside the phone. Yeah. All right. Good. So the best case would be to have approximately same similar uh, images, mm. the, the, the similar background, mm. for for our algorithm to work really pretty easily. Okay. But it would be dumb. Yeah. So we, to to make it smarter, we need to create some noise, and uh, this is the reason why. You can see that I have made different kind of faces and, mm. and everyone different angles. And different angles and stuff like that. It's still, the, 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 the program is still not so smart to identify me without my... Um, if you are wearing glasses, 50% of the time is identifying you as Noor as well. So <laughs> it's, it's, it, I told you, it's, it's, it's a a basic. Little, it's a, just a start. But uh, the, the more you feed into the algorithm, the more you let it learn. Yeah. Before we go forward with what we are doing, let's talk about this algorithm which we are going to use. It's KNN, which means K nearest neighbors. Okay. Where K is just an um, integer, it can be one, two, three, yeah. any number, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what this, uh, what, 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 what this algorithm does, for example, just imagine there is an x-axis and y-axis, and uh, this two-dimensional, you can imagine anything. We can imagine, for example, the, um, the price of the area of your house in your y-axis and the area itself yeah. on the y on the x-axis and then we plot some dots you and mean, process you mean the dollars of the amounts dollars on the x-axis area on the y-axis okay it, 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 it works fine and then you try to train your data yeah what happened is that all the data you have with the areas of area with respect to cost it, it will all be plotted mm. and if you try to question it that what will cost for this kind of area? Yeah. Your um, algorithm will try to draw circles around your sample space under, unless it finds the k neighbors. Okay. For example, the k was three, it will try to find three neighbors. Right. And then it will vote to which is the closest region. Okay, so to what that. does it match more closely to? Exactly. Does it match to these ones or to these ones? Yeah, and um, the example I give, it's, it's, it's not so specific to this algorithm, but the image classification, what we are doing right now, mm. 
it's um, this algorithm works pretty fine, okay. and uh, so we're going to use this. So, and that was the algorithm part. And uh, the second thing, what we are doing prog prog programmatically here, mm. it's the um, the fetching of the images from our webcam, okay. and then chopping all these uh, image frames, and then picking out the faces. All right, picking out faces from the images. Yeah, so. Uh, there is a really good library in face, it's, it's called face recognition. It's, it's, it's on GitHub, everybody can see that. It, okay. the we'll best, post a link as well in the mm, notes yep. below. The best thing it does is captures the images, the, 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 the face from the images. Okay. Yeah? So, so it isolates, isolates yep, the Yep, so it actually offloads me from a, a, a really hard burden to detect faces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? And yeah. then we can just use algorithms on top of it. So. First thing first, um, we're going to grab those images and then we're going to train on top of these images and create a model. Okay. Yeah. Right. We already, you can see, we already have a model, but right. uh, let's just rename it. It, it, it. it takes a little bit time to train the model one, model backup. Let's, let's. Mm, the old classic. Yeah, model backup refactor. Okay. So we, 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 we see that if, if, if our model exists, if not, then go and train our model. Let's go to okay. the train. Yeah. What does train does? It um, goes into, the, into this train folder and yeah. goes inside and try to make sense and plot these into this two-dimensional space, what I just showed you in yeah. the example. Yeah. And uh, it will try to find a face, if it does not find a face, and then tries to guess the number of neighbors, the, right. K, the value of the K. Yeah. And then after that, remember the pickle? I do remember the yeah. pickle. Then Go you the pickle. just save the result as in, in a pickle. Right. Yeah. Because you create a model once, hmm. and then you can just use it again and again. Okay. But if you add a new person, you have to train this model, uh, hmm. train this person, this uh, new person to be into the model. Okay. Yeah? So yeah, that's uh, that's all the basic training part it does. Right. So yeah, okay. So then it runs through that, trains itself. Yeah, that all the training part. Uh, get all the images, see all the um, faces it, yeah. you have in those images, and then try to um, create that model. Okay. The prediction part goes exactly the same way. It mm. Uh, mm. you 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 pick a frame. You detect the face, mm. then you send it to our um, predictive model. Okay. So at this point, training complete, which means that after this step, our training will be completed. Yeah. Then we will be in an indefinite loop. In this indefinite loop, you can uh, actually initialize your webcam in such a way that either it loops only triggers if someone is in front of your door, okay. or it just runs all the time. It right. matters, yeah. Right. So as soon as someone steps in your in your, uh, near your door, this algorithm starts running in and starts yeah. to fetch up the faces. Mm -hmm. If it matches, it opens the door for you. Mm -hmm. So this while loop is actually something which uh, will start grabbing all the video streams. Yeah. Yeah. So we are using the OpenCV library to, or the, to, to, to grab all the images. Mm -hmm. And then to make it a little bit faster, we uh, try to uh, just uh, set the frame size a little bit smaller. Okay and then we send it to our detect people function. What detect people function does is to call this model and then try to predict over, over that image. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we go to, oh really? Okay, we just scroll. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, so this predict function goes, mm -hmm. loads your uh, model, mm -hmm. picks your face, try to encode your image and then try to see where it yeah. matches the most and then sends you back the result. The result then again can be then shown as a as, as box okay. on, your, on your face. Right. Okay. This is how it, uh, how it works. Pretty cool. And also what you can do is here, it's, uh, in, in this, inside these results, you can also see that if the name, for example, if name in Sean or Sean or Oliver, Do not open the door. Yes. How dare! <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Yeah, but it, but it. So you can actually um, yeah, have a third-party 
have a third party async call. So I definitely do not want this person. Yeah, the, in my if, house. I, if I need that person or not. Okay, so let's see the running. Yeah, perfect. let's do it. Yeah. No. Run. Run the main program. Mm hmm. And uh, it will, if it, if, if it doesn't find the model, which I have named just model inside yeah, the, yeah. so it will try to train. Okay. And uh, now the best part comes in about, uh, the worst part comes in about this uh, classifier that if you have a really large data set, so we're not talking about this example, we're talking about some other example. If you have a really large data set, and because it's a supervised learner thing, and we talked about that, that if you supervise too much, yeah. it goes bad. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so with the large data sets, you have to have a false result, you have to have a good right. result, and you scale it a little bit, and this algorithm has a really high complexity. It, okay. it, 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 it gets really slow to train. You can already mm -hmm. see my Mac screaming, you see? Yeah, it's uh, all kinds of things. Hear that, fans yeah. running. Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's trying to make sense. And after the training completes, you can see that um, so it's recognized it shows, you? It, it has recognized me finally, yeah. All right. And, uh, and then if I come on, it should recognize yeah, me come as well, in, right? Yeah, please. There and we Sean, go. And then it's Nuwa and Sean. And we can also try our cameraman and see. Director. Our director. Our director. Oh my God. Okay. He's not in the system, so he should so, not be recognized. Um, yeah, he should not be recognized. Yeah. Come on, Michi. Is my hair good? Unknown. Unknown. Michael is He's known to us. You're so, known to us, buddy. This is a simple thing and it's, it works pretty fine. Yeah, it's, uh, it's works pretty good. And of course, it's, it, it's, it's not a, it was not tough at all. I think every person should try and build something on top of it. Mm. It's, uh, okay. Cool. Do you have any questions? I don't, but maybe the viewers do. If you have questions for Noah, post them in the comments. All right, Noor, thank you so much for coming on and showing us this uh, facial recognition stuff. It's been good to have you on. If you like this video, please share it. Uh, subscribe below, click the notification icon, and we'll see you next time for more Maker Monday.